Hi everyone, I'm Lili B. Torres, I'm a biology student at the Chaitez University from Ecuador, and today I will present you your laser research work whose title is Insights into the Relationship between Salmonella and Torica Cerebars and Resistance Integrants in the Andean Region Using a Novel Bioinformatics Tool in Finder. This is my research group, and if you have any questions, you can contact us. I will go through each section of this poster. The first one is the introduction. As you know, antimicrobial resistance in Salmonella and Torica is considered an important health problem worldwide. Integrants are very common in S. enterica cerebars. Thus, the surgical infection could be attributed to the presence of resistance uh, integrants, which are integrants classes one, two, and three. In this way, to better understand um, air epidemiology, it's important to detect and characterize resistance integrants and infinder can be used to achieve it. Infinders enable the rapid detection of resistance integrants in whole genome sequences isolated through a camera alignment between the input sequence and the sequence of the infinders database according to the user-defined similarity traits. As a result, Infinder provides information about the name of the integrons, the section number, the lining and the genes contained in the very other region of each integron. Therefore, the aim of this study was to investigate the presence of resistance integrons in whole genome sequences isolated to determine the relationship with asynthetic cerebars and in the Andean region using Infinder. This is the methodology. It was divided in two parts. And the first one corresponds to the data set selection and with all lands uh, whole genome sequence from the, um, from the entire base. The sequence came from the five countries of the Andean region, which are Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. So as a result, we have 1688 sequences. Then the sequence were processed with the infinder in order to detect uh, resistance integrants. As a result, infinder detects 688 integrants, um, of which the majority of them were from the class two, followed by class one, and no integrants class three were found. Uh, the majority of the class one were uh, related to human sources and were present in Colombia. We all, the, the class two integrons were related to animal sources and were widely disseminated in Ecuador. The most frequent integron was the E14. And this, this was related to animal sources. Um, all these integrons were related to resistant genes. And as you can see in table one, the, um, the trimetropin resistant genes link, were linked to S. infantis. Um, the aminoglucosis resistant genes were linked to Havana and Party FIB. And the beta lactam resistant genes were uh, linked to Tifemol. So according to the presented results, detected integrons are associated with particular cerebral considered relevant in public health and for production in the Andean region. Perhaps test outcomes highlight the necessity to establish a surveillance program to trace the evolution of these genetic platforms. In addition, this investigation demonstrates the utility and versatility of Infinder as a tool to study antimicrobial resistance in genomic epidemiology. Uh, finally, oh, finally um, you can scan this QR code to access to additional information on this study and to access to this poster. Uh, so thank you for your attention.